basically it's a survival story uh, set in the Arctic. Um, it's three kids who by accident are stranded on a deserted Arctic island. So it's all about uh, them learning how to survive and getting to know the island. And uh, uh, it's also a coming of age for Julia, the main character, the, the big sister. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, there's also a lot of uh, action going around with uh, how will they be rescued, will they be rescued. There are polar bears, there are blizzards, yeah. I took my team to um, Svalbard, which is uh, <laughs> pretty far north. <laughs> and um, you fly into Longyearbyen, which is the only uh, sort of uh, habitated area. And you go by a snowmobile for like five, six hours way out. So I took my entire crew out there. So I, I wanted to do it that way because it's about a really remote location. I really wanted to show Svalbard. I wanted to n show the Arctic for real, not pretend, not go to somewhere and say it's you know close enough. So I it is actually the Arctic <laughs> that you see. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without an armed guard because uh, they are all around you and they're hungry. Uh, and of course, when you're there with a big crew, and uh, none of us are really used to being there uh, under some, you know, a place that's so dangerous. But also the weather, I mean, it can change real fast. And uh, there's a, a scene with uh, Christopher Hivyu, who's doing Game of Thrones, he's one of the actors, um, uh, where you see a blizzard, and it was a blizzard, you know. So you sort of have to pin down the photographer and <laughs> throw Christopher in front of the camera with his dogs. and. And of course, th those are. Uh, this is not made. Those are uncontrollable uh, um, circumstances. But of course, within we had a lot of people taking care of us and making sure we were safe. But I wanted it as real as possible, you know, to really show the way it really is. Uh, and I think it's good for the actors as well. I'm not sure what the state is in on the American market right now, but I know it's been s uh, sold to Germany, and so it's been sold to several countries. And I think it's a lot happening right now at the festival. That's the fun part of <laughs> Sundance, <laughs> things happen fast. But uh, I'm, I haven't heard what the status in, is on America, but what I can say is I was excited to bring this uh, film to America, but I was nervous as well, because would it travel? Would uh, young, younger audiences relate, and would they understand? And uh, what I saw from the screenings that we've had, two of them now, uh, that it worked really well. You know, it seemed like uh, American kids really got it, they understood it, and uh, the Q&As proved that, yeah, sure, American kids are ready for foreign movies. I find that uh, the audience reaction has been quite overwhelming. Uh, the Q&As uh, went on and on and on because um, not only kids, but the adult audience as well were really fascinated with me bringing nature, you know, real nature into a film like that. Uh, the images are quite spectacular because we are in a place, a location where you can shoot 360, you know, and you are in that place. So a lot of questions, uh, yeah, I, I think a lot of people sort of engaged at that level, but uh, I also think, of course, there are a lot of animals. There's, there are polar bears uh, in the film, and we, we've actually filmed a lot, uh, Aggie, up in Canada, who's a professional polar bear actress. She's the biggest actress in the world. She's huge, you know. <laughs> but so, so we, ha we shot some green uh, screenshots with her um, because there's some interaction between her and the, you know, the polar bear and the kids. And but there are also a lot of shots there that are with the real polar bears that we have filmed in Svalbard. So uh, I think that the, the gist of what I get back is that people really respond and connect to me bringing nature, it's uh, so close to the audience through the movie.